In this example, I'm going to show you how to answer this type of question. Okay, so the question asks you to calculate the energy of the photon involved for the formation of the second line in bracket series of a hydrogen atom. If you still remember in the lecture video, the part 2 video, okay, the formation of the emission line spectrum uh, is due to the transition of the electron from a higher energy levels to a lower energy levels. So let's draw the energy levels so you can uh, visualize it. So the energy level diagram is consists of the y-axis which is the energy. Okay, so we have the energy level, the lowest energy level n is equals to 1, also called as the ground state. When the electron make a transition from higher energy levels to a lower energy level, which is n is equals to 1, for example, from energy levels 2 to energy levels 1, energy level 3 is to 1, 4 to 1, and 5 to 1, okay, alignment series will produce, all right? So, the transition of electron from 2 to 1, we call it as the first transition, the first line produced, okay? 3 to 1 will produce the second line, 4 to 1 is the third line, 5 to 1 is the fourth line, and so on. If we draw the line spectrum of the formation of the Lyman series of this first four, four lines, the one that is far away from other lines is the first one where the transition of the electron to produce the first line is from the transition of electron from n is equals to 2 to n is equals to 1. And then the next one here is the second line where the transition of the electrons is from n is equals to 3 to n is equals to 1. Okay, and then the third line here produced from the transition of electron from n is equals to 4 to n is equals to 1. And then the last here is the fourth line produced when the electron make a transition from n is equals to 5 to n is equals to 1. So that is for the Leibniz series. Okay, the final uh, energy levels for the electrons to false is at n is equals to 1. For the Balmer series, the electrons will fall from a, from a higher energy levels to a lower energy levels, which is n is equals to 2. So for the first line of the Balmer series is from 3 to 2, the second line 4 to 2, the, four, uh, the third line is 5 to 2, and so on. For the Pustin series, the electrons will fall from higher energy levels to n is equals to 3. While for the bracket series, it will fall to n is equals to 4. And last but not least, we have fun series, it will fall to n is equals to 5. So this question mention the formation of the second line in a bracket series. So we know that the bracket series, the electron will fall to n is equals to 4. So the electron will fall here. So the first line of the bracket series produced when the electron make a transition from n is equals to 5 to n is equals to 4. So this one is for the first line produced. So for the second line produced, the electron make a transition from n is equals to 6 to n is equals to 4. So the transition of the electron to produce the second line in bracket series is from n is equals to 6 to n is equals to 4. 
So this question asks about the energy okay, and also the relationship with a transition of electron. So which formula that you need to use? That is correct. We are going to use this formula. Delta E is equals to RH times with 1 over N initial squared minus 1 over N final squared, where the RH value is 2.18 times 10 to the power of minus 18 joules. So substitute all the information into this formula and press your calculator, you should get negative 7.57 times 10 to the power of minus 20 joules. So again, the negative sign here indicates that the energy is being released because the electron falls from higher energy levels to a lower energy levels. So that's it. Thank you for watching.